What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here. In this video, we have two functions, f of x equals x squared minus three, x minus 10 over x plus two, and then g of x equals x minus five. And they're asking, does f of x equal g of x? Well, the short answer is, uh, is no. But to dig in a little bit more specifically, why are they asking if this and this are the same thing? Right? You can kind of tell that just off the bat that they're very different, but they're also very similar. Now, this f of x, notice if we factor the top, we'll have x minus 5, x plus 2. And this is going to be over x plus 2. So notice that x plus 2s cancel out, and we're just left with x minus 5 right, which is the same as this function here. And so that's why you may be tricked after you do this simplification to say that, yeah, this and that are the same thing because we just end up with x minus 5 here. But you can't just look at this. You have to look at what you originally had. And because these x plus 2s canceled out, what that means is that at an x value of negative 2, which makes the numerator and the denominator equal to 0, there's a hole there. So this graph is this line with a hole at negative 2, while this line doesn't have any holes. So if we graph both of these, g of x, x minus 5, let's just do a rough sketch here. So um, have a y-intercept of negative 5. It will also have an x-intercept at positive 5. So that's just going to be a line like that. Right, there's no break in that line. Notice that the domain, this is g of x, the domain for this, x e r, the range is y e r. But for this here, we would draw that same graph, x minus 5, so minus 5, positive 5. But, at that x value of negative 2, there's going to be a hole right there. Right? And the coordinate of that, if we plug in negative 2 for this x, is at uh, y value negative 7. So the coordinate of the hole is negative 2 and negative 7. Right? So it's the same line, except there's a hole here. And so it's not the same thing, because this here is defined at an x value of negative 2. It's going to equal a y value negative 7, but this here is not defined at this x value negative 2. And it's not defined at a y value of negative 7. So the domain for this <clears throat> would be um, x e r, but x is less than negative 2 or greater than negative 2. Notice how there's a break at negative 2. If we put it in interval notation, we would say all the x values go from negative infinity to negative 2 or from negative 2 to positive infinity. Versus here, if we put the domain in this notation, it would just be from negative infinity to positive infinity. There would be no break. There would be no two separate intervals. And then the range for this would be y e r. <clears throat> the y values are less than uh, negative 7 or greater than negative 7. And in this notation, it'd be from negative infinity to negative 7, and then from negative 7 to positive infinity. Versus here, the range would just be from negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, so similar, but answer is no, they're not the same, and it's because this function here has a hole at this coordinate, negative 2 and negative 7. 